Well, many of the richest and most powerful people from Wall Street to Hollywood are claiming that they had no idea that alleged financier Jeffrey Epstein was spending most of his and other people's money participating in the commercial sexual exploitation of children. The truth says something very different. This week, Epstein was again appealing the court's decision to deny him bail as he awaits trial, while new reports claim that Epstein was still bringing rich and famous friends to his private island as recently as last year. RT America's John Huddy has the latest on that island from Miami. It's been called Pedophile Island, Orgy Island, among others. And what we're talking about is the 70-acre island owned by Jeffrey Epstein called Little St. James. He also owns the neighboring Great St. James Island, uh, which are both off the coast of St. Thomas Island in the U.S. Virgin Islands. And in recent weeks, we started getting a clearer picture about both islands uh, based on various reports and interviews with former employees of the island. Little St. James, where Epstein's primary residence was, along with residents and locals of neighboring St. Thomas Island. Over the weekend, Vanity Fair published an article interviewing several people from St. Thomas who say that Epstein continued bringing what appeared to be young girls to the island as recently as even possibly this year. Well, that's a decade after he was forced to register as a convicted sex offender, and that authorities really didn't do anything in the recent years to stop him. Well, the eyewitness accounts from two airport employees on St. Thomas said they saw Epstein boarding his private plane numerous times with young-looking girls, some of whom looked like they went on shopping trips with him. Epstein has pled not guilty to charges of child sex trafficking and conspiracy to commit sex trafficking. He remains in a Manhattan jail after a judge denied his lawyer's request to release him on a $100 million bond and instead placing him under house arrest in his Upper East Side mansion. Well, Epstein is considered, according to the judge, a significant flight risk because of his wealth. And also, federal agents say they found diamonds, a pile of cash, and a foreign passport that may have been some kind of fake passport for Epstein in a safe inside the Upper East Side townhouse. Along with his New York residence, Epstein has the two islands, a ranch in New Mexico, and his Palm Beach mansion as well, all of them playing a part in the investigation into his alleged crimes. In the wake of his arrest and indictment, President Trump's labor secretary, Alex Acosta, resigned. Acosta brokered the so-called so -called sweetheart deal in 2005 that allowed Epstein to serve time in Palm Beach County Jail and remain free during the day on work release at his office. Well, Epstein has been linked to powerful friends and associates, including former President Bill Clinton, Prince Andrew, the Duke of York, and even President Trump, who most recently said that he wasn't a fan of Epstein and hasn't talked to him in 15 years. The question now is whose names will be brought up in the ongoing investigation, the rich and the powerful that Epstein is linked with and possibly or any of those linked to his criminal activities and behavior. For Watching the Hawks, I'm John Huddy. Back to you. Joining us now to discuss the Epstein case is legal and media analyst Lionel from Lionel Media. And New York. And New York. <laughs> Lionel, how, how worried should Epstein associates and friends be right now terrified 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 this is the this is the big one the F5 mm. you know we were everybody knew about this guy mm -hmm. everybody knew you know the classic uh, whenever there was a serial killer that would go to the neighbors and say, quiet guy kept to himself yeah. you know didn't really seem like this was the opposite and despite all of that people at, upon I think about this upon his release from this the, the hell hole that is the Palm Beach County 12 hours off yes, yes in the wing of the Palm Beach County the Gulag Pelican Bay Papillon the Devil's Island <laughs> as he gets out why tax evasion no basically and they called it prostitution mm -hmm. for children this is what infuriates me. Those kids, this is no prostitution. It's like when you call no. something a next thing, when you call it a cult, it sounds like you're a, some wacky participant. But let me ask you a question. Yeah. You saw the picture of Acosta there, right? Mm -hmm. They're going to throw him under the bus. Mm -hmm. Do you think he signed off on that? Who was the attorney general? Wasn't it this guy, Alberto Gonzalez, and then there was this guy named Mueller, and then this guy named Comey? It's weird how that Mueller name comes up a lot yeah. in <laughs> weird, shady things with right. organized crime. And right. If he's everywhere. He's like Zelig. You know, he's in every picture. There <laughs> right. he is. And then, and then you have other people too. Then you have Ken Starr, Alan Dershowitz. Mm -hmm. And oh, by the way, sidewalk, watch the game going on between Dershowitz and David Boyce. Yes. That, There's a lot. It, this is so 
Let me tell you something. This is it. This is the tsunami. This is the big one. Everything else is just a waste of time because when that goes, then you have at the same time, may I also talk about other vortices, you have Weinstein. Now, Weinstein's saying, you thought I was a creep. There's no kids involved. I gave people jobs. Right. Right. Nexium with the Bronfman family and Allison mm -hmm. Mack, we got that going on. Dare I say every now and then the Vatican. Mm -hmm. Everywhere you look, you realize, are we a, not only a society, but a species that just preys on kids at every level in every country? I mean, this is, this is enormous. Well, I think what people also have to remember, too, this isn't just about sex. This is about power. The, se the sex part is part of what, uh, why they do this is based on power. These are people who like to inflict their will and inflict power on people, and that's what it's all about. It's not just the, the, the aspect of the sex. I think that's what kind of distracts people from the, oh, sex. No, this is about power over people. But also there's another thing, too, is when you have a plane and you have a plane that is wired for sound and pictures and, and you, are, you are basically having social elite flypaper that is stuck to your web and you say, guess what I've got? What if there's a kill switch? In my movie, I would have Epstein <laughs> saying, something goes, yeah, if I go down, I've got these weird nerdy geeks somewhere that'll make WikiLeaks look like the Junior mm. League. Wait till this thing, and all of a sudden, <laughs> you turn on your computer, and you're seeing everybody who's ever, and then you gotta ask, let me ask you, when, when you are that powerful, are you so deluded by your power that you think, I'm impenetrable? I don't have yes. to worry about this. I can guarantee you, you know how I know this? Mm. Because this is one of those things, as we were, we were talking about right before the show, uh, at 22 years old, many years ago in New York City, um, I interacted with a lot of people, and you've heard story. I've told these stories, where I was warned, don't find yourself in a room alone with Bill Cosby, mm. as, early, as, as early as 1999. Um, as far as the Epstein thing, we were all told, don't go to that house that he got for a dollar from a billionaire. Like, you, you look at these things. I worked for the Weinsteins. We were all warned. We all knew. But the truth was, we were told when you ask, well, why doesn't somebody do something? It's because, one, they think that we're invisible. If you're not rich, if you're not powerful, if you're just there to, exactly. to hand a tray with crab cakes or champagne or yourself, you don't mean anything. And also, there's this, uh, this uh, you're, you're replaceable. Yeah. yeah. And if something happens and you go missing, what are you going to do?